Hey guys, this is Johnny H, and I want to talk about a very special movie event that I'm attending on Bank Holiday Weekend. It's been referred to as the Woodstock of Gore by Guillermo del Toro, and I'm talking about Film 4 Fright Fest. Film 4 Fright Fest is the UK premier fantasy and horror film festival that is now running in its 16th year. I want to talk about last year's experience, uh, everything I did, the people I met, and the films I saw. So I went on the first day to see Sin City A Dame to Kill For. I unfortunately, the tickets for the guest were sold out, but it didn't stop me meeting the director, Adam Wangard, who was one of the coolest fucking guys on the planet. He spent 20 minutes with all these fans, and I was lucky enough to meet him, and just talk, and we just talked about horror soundtracks from the likes of John Carpenter and the 80s music, as the guest had a phenomenal soundtrack and was a brilliant movie that I was lucky enough to see a bit later on. Definitely check out The Guester if you haven't seen it already. It's a fucking brilliant movie. Uh, and your next, obviously. Adam Wangard is a phenomenal director. and uh, He was a really cool guy to meet, so if you get a chance to meet him, do so. And it was a very special uh, night. Uh, Sin City of Dame to Kill For was a pretty awesome film too, so it was good. If you're a fan of Frank Miller, it's definitely worth seeing. And I met someone really awesome, a group of lovely people. I met Damon and Annette Rickard. Damon Rickard did a movie called The Tour. I played their short film show, show reel. And The Tour is fucking awesome too. It stars uh, Heber Dorf and Jessica Cameron, who I met at Fright Fest this very same night as well. So yeah, Jessica Cameron is one of the coolest motherfuckers on the planet. She's one of the most honest, very brutally honest lady. And the thing is, when I first met her, she, we were queuing up for drinks. But basically, because she was about to miss her film, I gave her one of the 20 fucking orange LucasAids I had in my pocket. And she, you know, orange LucasAids is a mystery to her. Like, they don't have that in LA or whatever. So, I, so she was able to get into the film on time. And we hung out for a bit afterwards, uh, and Damon and Annette, who were such lovely people, all of them. And the best thing is, I've, I've been very close with these guys ever since. I'm always chatting to them online. Jessica and I talk a, a shit ton as well. Um, so she directed her debut movie, True for Dares, which also played at Fright Fest, but I'll get to that in a bit. I was also lucky enough to win over £100 on slots that the weekend, so I spent it at the big ass stall they had at Bright Best, which included many cool items such as this, this, and this. The day after I went to see Dead Snow 2 with a shit ton of drinks and it was one of the funniest experiences I ever had. Dead Snow 2 is a great horror movie, it's a good laugh for you and your mates, uh, definitely Especially what's the first one, and uh, the second one is just bloody hilarious. Uh, the whole cinema was packed out, pissing themselves laughing. It was a good, good experience. That's what I like about Fight Fest, is just the people that go to it. They're just there to have a good time and have a good laugh. And Dead Snow 2 embodied all of that. It was such a fun film to watch. It, I was just kicking back. I was drunk as a motherfucker and just had such a great time enjoying it. When I got to Fright Fest on Saturday morning, I was greeted by a group of zombie cheerleaders who I had a quick photo shoot with uh, before I went in to see All Cheerleaders Die. It's a very fun movie, uh, a bit of gore, a bit of a laugh, and yeah, I enjoyed it. It was pretty decent. And then when I got outside with my day live mask, I was greeted by the mystery guys from Scooby-Doo. So yeah, Mystery Incorporated, and a dude in a scream outfit. And a lovely lady by the name of Jackie Kennedy, who was rocking a Zool outfit. You know, there is no Dana, only Zool from Ghostbusters. And I had a very pleasant chat with her, who was a good friend mutual of our mutual friend, Miss Heidi Taylor, who's also a badass. And yeah, I got to chat to her for a little bit. And then I went and got myself a few drinks, and I went to check out more movies, which I'll discuss in part two. That's right, guys, I'm making three videos about my experience at Bright Best because I saw that many movies and I met that many awesome people. So many little things that I need to talk about. So in part two, I'm going to be discussing both Starry Eyes and the 30th anniversary screening of Nightmare on Elm Street 
including Mr. Robert England, who showed up at last year's festival. So that's what I will be discussing. So I will see you then. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.